Oh, it's dark now. Hey, let's get a torch. Let's make a torch, a stick torch. That's cool. Oh, I like this, and I wonder if that... Really? Oh, the wind put it out. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't like it anymore. Alright, survivors, welcome back to the long dark. Today is August 1st, at the time of this recording anyway, 2017. And the Long Dark is now out of Early Access. Officially released today. So I will put a link down below in the description so you can check it out for yourself. I believe it's $34.99 US monies. It is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Stop that! Um, and it is a single player only right now. I don't know if multiplayer is ever coming, but... So check it out if you like what you see here. Um, the big deal with this release today is the addition of the story mode. We've had survival mode throughout early access, um, but now they have this winter mute, which is authored episodic story mode for the long dark. And as far as I know, there's two chapters available and they're gonna be releasing more chapters in the future. Um, I think that's the way it works anyway. That's what they said way back when, when I first got involved in the Early Access. But yeah, Hinterland Studios did a great job with The Long Dark throughout Early Access. If you're a developer, then uh, take a page out of their book, because they really did an awesome job. And anyway, alright, let's jump in and get started. Enough chat. Uh, let's do the Winter Mute. This is what we've all been waiting for. I certainly have. So, without further ado, let's play The Long Dark. Here we go. Hey! Stop that. Uh, start a new story. Yes, new. Episode 1, Do Not Go Gentle. Mackenzie and Dr. Greenwood are separated after their plane crashes deep in the northern Canadian wilderness. Struggling to survive, Mackenzie explores the small town of Milton, where he begins to understand the scope of this quiet apocalypse. Oh, there's episode 2. Okay, yes, yeah, so we get to choose right here. Alright, and away we go. Winter Mute. Let's do it. Can you guys hear that? It's a really soft whisper. I might have to turn up the volume of the voice. Astrid. Astrid! Ow! Oh, do I have to yank that thing out of there or something? I'm just staring at it. Oh, you interact. Yes! Pull that thing out of my hand, please! Yeah, remove it! What do I have to do? Oh, I have to tap. Okay. Interaction here. Oh, that hurts! Oh! Ooh! Well, we gotta cover that up. That's gonna get infected. Alright, so I'm looking around here. Can I move? Oh, I can move. Seems like I'm crouched. I'm we not need to crouched. Find some shelter from this wind. Yes. We need to find shelter from this wind. Chapter 1, Survival of the Fittest. So, we were on a plane, going somewhere, and it crashed. We're in, like, the uh, deep Canadian woodlands. Um, hold on a sec. I'm gonna bump up the volume of the voice. So we can hear Astrid. There we go. Alright, yeah, so it looks like I already need medical attention. The status looks okay right now, but we've got that plus there. Um, yeah, we got to find some uh, some shelter here. Now, why isn't this fire warming us up? This is not real fire, apparently. It's just decorative fire. Let's look for supplies. Something must have fallen out of this plane. So this is all brand new. Oh, yeah, see the firewood. This is brand new. I mean, it just came out. Today's, like I said, August 1st. And uh, I have not played this in a long time. My gosh, I gotta backtrack and make sure I'm not leaving anything behind. Yeah, this is all great fire starting material. Oh, we got a first aid kit here. Open it up. You gotta hold the bus the button down. There we go. Antibiotics and bandages. Study your treatments and learn to triage. There are many ways to die in the wilderness. Medical treatments, man-made or harvested from the natural world, will save your life. Use the status screen to check your health. Apply a treatment using the first aid radio menu. You can use, also use treatments from your pack menu. Yeah, okay. Controls, the key to survival. Preparation and self-control are vital to your survival. Check your controls menu. 
All right, yeah, I kind of know a little bit of what's going on here. Yeah, let's apply this bandage. So there's two ways to do this. We can bring up our um, radial dial, click on that, and I think we need to bandage this thing. My neck. I'm bleeding out of my neck. What about my hand? All right, blood loss has been healed. Excellent. What is this? Oh, we can break this down. It's going to take nine minutes, 49 calories, but we can use those plugs for fire starter. Hopefully I don't bleed to death in the meantime. It looks like I still have that plus symbol there. Um, oh, my hand. Yes. Oh, gosh. All right. Let's apply the bandage to the hand, I suppose. I guess I can do that, too. Damn it. What? Didn't do don't anything. Freezing. Didn't do anything, so that was a wasted bandage. Yes. Everything you do here is a calculated risk. Right? Everything. Everything. If you're going to break down a branch like this, for example, it's going to take 10 minutes. It's going to burn 55 calories. I just want to pick up scrap. Yeah, pick up the scrap. Fire starting material. I'm not going to break anything down right now. It's too cold out here. All right, we got we to gotta get indoors somewhere and somewhere fast. Looks like I can heal my hand through some rest, but I can't look at that right now. We really got to get indoors. Oh, here we go. Oh, this does not look good. This looks like a bear cave. Fire provides heat, water, food, and protection. Use the campfire option in the radio menu. You'll need all the fixins. A fire starter, tinder, and fuel. Accelerant speeds up the process. Fuel types impact burn time and heat production. An active fire can be used to cook and boil water, as well as keeping you from freezing to death. Yes. Um, again, it's all. it all comes down to um, using your resources wisely here. And I can't see a darn thing. Do I have any matches? I do. Let's, uh, let's, let's light a match and use that to see. How deep does this cave go? Not very deep. All right, is that a human skull? No? Okay, good. Let's get the fire going. <laughs> I think we can put it right here. Place that down. And here you get to select the resources you want to use to start this fire. We have a 75% chance as is. I don't have any accelerant. That would certainly help. Uh, we can choose the cedar firewood, which is going to burn for an hour. Doesn't matter what tinder we use. And, all right, let's do it. And I just wasted a match trying to look around in this cave, but it was a really, really small cave. Should have lit the fire first. Come on. Come on, baby. If you use accelerant, this would be much faster. But we don't have any accelerant, so we just have to hope and pray. 75% chance we can do this. Our life depends on it. It's crazy what you can accomplish when your life depends on it. There we go. Ooh. Connect! Oh, yeah! Fire's life out here. It is. It is. Fire is life. That's all I have in me. I need to lay down before I fall down. Okay, so this story mode is kind of walking us through. Ooh. I just passed out. <laughs> I hope I didn't fall into the fire. Day two. All right, day two. So thirsty. Gotta be a way to melt some snow. The fire's burnt out. Status is your early warning system. When you bring up the quick stats or the radio menu, you'll get a preview of your current condition as well as information about how cold, tired, hungry, and thirsty you are. Anytime one of these status indicators is empty and red, this means you're losing condition. Lose all your condition and you'll die. Right. My fire just burnt out. All right. Let's look at this uh, status condition. We're dehydrated and we're ravenous. And the hand is still not healed. I thought it would heal after some rest, but... Uh, it feels like 16 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now, and that's that's pretty cold. I guess we can just leave. I might be stuck here a while. Better see what I can use. Oh, I did all that last night in the dark. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Um, I suppose it doesn't really matter how you do it, but at least now we can see. Hopefully we don't have any wolves around here sniffing me out after I bled all over the joint. They could eat anything. Yeah, we need to find some food. Uh, maybe there's a, um, a box or something of some chow around here. I'll have to look around. Oh, here we go. Looks like debris from the crash site above. It is. It is. Crash site above. Oh, look at that. There's the plane up there. This is just pieces of it. I'm not going to um, claim that right now. I want to go through this metal container. We need food and we need water. MRE. Oh, that's perfect. Military grade MRE. 1,750 calories. Oh, stop reading and eat it. Let's eat that thing. Oh, hurry. Oh, hurry. Where's my food? Yeah. Hmm. This game is a lot about resource management and time management. Everything takes time to do. 
Uh, journal updated. My mission's updated. All right. I could use a drink. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, mission, mission. Yeah, here it is. So you've crashed. Produce some water and drink it to stay hydrated. My guess is... Oh, I was going to say we have to melt some snow. I know that's a thing. Oh, nobody needs this anymore. Oh, dang. Disinfectant's awesome. And that we can break down. Book of Survival. <laughs> Cloth. All right, so we still need to find water. And my guess is we might have to melt some snow and make it ourselves or we're just going to get lucky here and find some did i already go through that one yes it is my cave okay produce some water yeah all right uh, i'm not really sure how to do that oh gosh i th i suppose we're supposed to stay here and figure out the basics melting oh thank you it's about time Anytime you have a fire, you can melt snow to, to produce water, but melting it alone isn't sufficient to ensure it's potable. If you have the fuel to do so, it's better to boil it after to make sure any bacteria, parasites, or impurities are removed. Water treatment pills let you purify non-potable water without using up valuable fuel resources. Right, once again, we're using our resources. That's true. Just eating snow is potentially uh, a risk because it could be parasites and bacteria in it. And it could make you cold. Yeah, so you really should warm it up first. Now, I think I have to go do that over here. Where the fire is. Oh, I can't sprint because I'm hurt right now. So I guess we do have to get our fire going again. Let's try to get it started with a book. Because it's a 95% chance. Should have done that before. So, yeah, lighting a book is going to be a lot easier than lighting a cedar log. And then we can throw the cedar log on the fire once it gets going this is a 95 percent chance we should be able to do this blow on it just a little bit not too much yes now we throw oh i can take a, a torch that's cool now we throw that uh cedar log on there and this will burn for an hour oh here we go yes we can procure water uh let's do it how much time does it take Oh, it used to tell us how much time this was going to take. It doesn't do that anymore. Holy smokes! It's going to bring it right down to zero! <laughs> it took a whole hour. Oh, I melted the snow and now I can't boil it. Oh, well then. Uh, add fuel. Oh, it's still going. Oh, add some sticks. Quick, 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 quick. Yes. All right, now we need to go... We've got 37 minutes. Dang it. Yeah, I melted the snow, but we didn't boil it. So we got to go out and get some more wood. I screwed... Tongue feels like sandpaper. Yeah, it does. Uh, what is this going to take? 10 minutes? We have to break it down. It's not very much, but we're just going to have to do it. Let's go put it on the fire. All right, add that fuel. Add, add, add it all, and then how long is it going to take to boil this water? How come it doesn't show me the time anymore? It used to show the time. All right, that's good. We still have some time left. Um, let's drink. It's the potable. Water potable. Yep, drink it up. Ah, oh, delicious. So fresh. Get it. What? Cut smarts. This is a PG rated show, my friend. Yes, I know. We're gonna do that next. Let's uh, let's boil the rest of our water. Um, hopefully that gets some of it boiled. It's not gonna get oil it, all of it boiled, is it? Oh no! Can I do it? Yes. Okay. Let's apply this uh, antiseptic. Uh, we've got two. We've got antibiotics and antiseptic. Uh, oh. Well, they probably both do the same thing, right? Infection. Well, this is a chest infection? Oh, I thought we were talking about my hand. I don't feel so good. Dude, you don't... need to rest up. Again? Oh, I'm out again. Day three. The weather's turning bad. Holy... I need a good long fire to keep from freezing to death. Yes. I'm burnt out again. Too bad I can't burn these bones. We don't have any wood. Oh, I'm moving much faster now. That's good. Do I have all my clothes on? Where's my guy? Uh, 
clothing. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I think I'm wearing all my clothes. It shows you multiple layers, which is really cool here. I like that. Yeah, so, okay, we gotta go outside, and, um, still can't take care of that hand yet, huh? No. I think we have to climb out of here, but we have to fix our hand first. Oh, look how cold it gets out there! Whoo! It's so cold! See, our temperature's dropping super fast. Uh, well, this is gonna take a long time. It's getting colder. I know! If I don't have enough firewood to last the night, I might not make it. All right, I'm just gonna break down all these sticks. I think that's why they're here. I hope, anyway. I'm not just wasting time. Don't need the rose hips yet. Come on, I need big wood. Give me the big wood. None of these little branches. This is Die the big stuff. Warm up soon. All right, there, there we go. Let's go get this fire going. We come back out. So there is some cedar um, logs out here. Oh, look at it all. Did I? I didn't pass these earlier. I think they were just they just fell off the trees. From the storm, probably, right? That's my story, and I'm sticking... Oh! Excuse me! <laughs> that wasn't me, it was the it was the guy in the game. Serious. Alright, 75% chance. Do we have a book? No. We don't have any more books, so this is a 75% chance, guys. Uh, I don't have any choice. Come on, come on. I know, that's what I'm thinking. Come on. I'm so tense right now watching this. My hands are clenched and they're sweating. Please. Yes. It worked. It did. Add fuel. We gotta. This has to last all night long. So I think the game wants us just to put it all in there. And while we're burning, that's three hours. What time is it? Uh, where do we get the time, yo? Oh, it shows the status up top. Sun and a moon. I don't know. Um, let's go get some more firewood. I'm not sure that's going to last all night long. There we go. Let's grab all the loose logs that we can find. I'm not going to mess with the branches, though. I don't think it wants us to mess with the branches. Loose stick's fine. Uh, I feel much better, though. I'm moving much faster than I had been. never felt so cold in my life. All right, quit your belly aching, pal. We'll be indoors in a second here. Yeah, all that deadfall. That's what that those logs are from. That's fantastic. We got lucky there. I'm thinking maybe this is all we need. Last, last of it. It's four hours. I don't want to burn all my things here. Let's melt some more snow. Let's do. Uh, I should have been doing that. Oh no, you can't actually do that when you're when you're out gathering. See, I can't move from here. Let's boil it. Yeah, we're thirsty and we're hungry. And how much water is that? Let's have a, let's have a sip. Oh yeah, that's good. Mmm, delish. Now that's three hours. Oh, it's dark now. Hey, let's get a torch. Let's make a torch, a stick torch. That's cool. Oh, I like this, and I wonder if that... Really? Oh, the wind put it out. <laughs> All right, well, I don't like it anymore. I can relight it. But it looks like the wind puts the torch out, which is really cool. You know what, let's go out. Oh man, no, I can't go out, I can't see. I was thinking about maybe going and um, wrecking some more sticks. Oh! Oh, that scared me. All right, get back in the cave. I thought maybe that was a wolf or something. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to keep melting snow. Let's get through this night. 57 degrees inside this cave. It's really cozy. Yeah, I can just lie down right here on this uh, pine bough and just go right to sleep. I wish I could. But I can't seem to get this time to go by any faster. Can I pass the time? Um, I don't know. Let's do another uh, near half gallon here of water. We've got two hours left on this fire, just about. Almost 60 degrees in here. It's beautiful. Okay, I don't want to get rid of all my sticks. Because I'm going to need those to start fires. Two left. 
Now here's the crafting menu. I can make tinder plugs out of the newsprint. Do I have newsprint? I guess I do. All right, we're gonna make some tinder plugs. I think tinder plugs work better than the newsprint to get the fire started. Oh, my nose is so cold. Look at it. Can I? Oh, I can harvest this torch and get a stick. Good, we get one stick back. Good to know. Cloth. Can we make a bandage? Oh, we can make a bandage. Just passing time here in the cave. This is what you have to do. You can't just sit around and do nothing in a survival situation. You gotta use every minute. Every minute counts. Doesn't look like the sun is coming up, does it? Mm-mm. All right, well, let's sit down here in this nice, soft, cozy bed and look at our status. We have zero calories in the system right now. So we obviously need to get some food. We're at 48% health. Our hand is still injured. Badly bruised. It's not bleeding, so we just have to um, heal it up through rest. And I, I don't think we've had a proper rest yet. So we're warm. We're not winded. We're not too thirsty. But we are very, very hungry. But we can go we can go a long time without food. We can go a few weeks without food. Well, in real life. I don't know about the game. But um, we can't go long without, without water. Without hydrating. Down to one hour left, guys. Am I supposed to put all these sticks in? Let's check the journal. Build a fire in the cave of the last night. Oh! Nine hours?! Who are you kidding, fool? Nine hours? We didn't even come close to that. It's so hungry. I know. Holy smokes. All right, we gotta get some, uh... I can't see sticks or anything. We gotta get more sticks. Hope I don't fall off the edge. <laughs> Did I miss some wood? I may have. Oh, we break down the crates. Right. All right, we gotta break down the crates. And that's gonna give us some wood. Hopefully I can find this crates. I can't see them in the dark. Is that... Yeah, I'm gonna brighten this video up so you guys can see better than I can. Seriously, right now... I, I can't even see these things, guys. I'm just... rubbing my hands too along the snow. To think. I am too cold to think. Okay, oh good, a branch. Where's my fire at? And we gotta get this, this stuff on there before it goes out. Because you're spending time harvesting all that stuff, right? 32 minutes. Uh, reclaimed wood. Add it. Add it. Add it. Add it. Two more hours. Alright, add the books. Books don't burn for very long. I'd like to hold on to those for starting fires. 90 degrees Fahrenheit in here! <laughs> Woo! This is like a tropical cave. Alright, let's go back out and I think we're still a little bit shy of the uh, nine hours we needed. Some more sticks. You know, I, I just had a terrible realization. I probably have to build this fire up to reach nine hours all at once. And if that's the case, I'm going to have to restart. Because I don't have enough fuel for that to happen. Well, live and learn, right? And learn by my mistakes if you are going to get this game. I think you have to build up your fire to a total of nine hours all at one time. So I'm going to go do that. Start over, get back to that point, and uh, we'll meet you right back here in our lovely cave with our uh, dead animal bones. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, hang, hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, guys, it's now round two. I restarted, and I got a whole bunch of logs here. Let's add everything. All the sticks, all the logs, up to five hours. Oh, my gosh, we still need more. All right, well, let's go harvest this uh, reclaimed wood. See if we can't get that thing up to uh, nine hours. I think I got all the loose pieces. Goddamn freezing. Hold on, hold on. See? Stuff drops on the ground when you destroy those boxes. Um, I think I gotta head back now. Let's do, well, let's do one more. Twelve minutes to break this down. We should be able to do this without dying first. Nothing in that one. Let's do this one too. And we're going to throw all this wood on there. This is the accelerant I was talking about. Okay. Yes, very cold. But I think we can do this right here. And then we can move on. All of it. We've got four hours right now. 
And all that reclaimed wood. Fire we did it! Good. Yes! Now, to warm up before I freeze to death. Yeah, good idea. Okay, so, yes, uh, you have a journal here. Maybe you should read it and get used to it. See, I'm not used to this because before when I played the Long Dark, it was a sandbox mode. There was no journal. But now that we have this journal, we got to get into the habit of looking up here. At least in the beginning of the game, we have a journal. I don't know if this continues um, throughout the whole chapter. So now we just sit here and warm up by the fire. Awesome. That should last. What, what was that? That should last something. Oh, I was just going to turn the volume down a little bit. That wind is really loud. But I think we did. We fell asleep. And now we're on day four. We get, we, that storm would never end. I thought the same. I need to find some food. Sitting really close to this fire. Uh, now we have to get food. Let's read the journal. Explore the ravine. You need food to survive. Scavenge what you can and eat until you're full. Uh, I think what we might do is call it quits right here. Um, because I'm kind of out of time. This what? Crows. Your ears are best. Your ears are your best survival tool. Pay attention to your surroundings and you might glean information that's important to your survival. For example, a murder of a crow circling up ahead might suggest an animal carcass. Yes, yes, you can, uh, you can harvest dead animals if you can find a carcass and you have a tool to harvest the frozen meat from them. But uh, I wonder if I can save it here and continue. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have to try. I don't know if I can. But if I can, I'll have to restart, but I gotta go. Uh, my dog's freaking out. I'm out of time. This episode is long enough. So let's just see here. Quit. And see if I can come back. Please. Please, Wintermute. I'll resume. Yes, you can continue your current story. Excellent. Okay, we'll do that in the next episode, guys. And gals, hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.